little side door. So let's take a look at the code for Arena. Every function in the financial world gets reinvented in the crypto world. Hi, what's your name? My name's Kevin. I'm the communications director at Code Arena. Yeah. And uh, Kevin, what is, Code, uh, what is Code Arena? Code Arena is a crowdsourced uh, security auditing platform. So we work with community members and uh, projects of different sizes to create audit contests where community members compete uh, between certain fixed dates, like three, five, and seven day contests uh, to try to submit uh, f findings of vulnerabilities and bugs. Mm -hmm. And they earn a share of the prize pool depending on the uniqueness of uh, these findings. Yeah, okay. So we're talking about smart contracts, right? So sure. projects which are smart contracts and, uh, and, and you basically figure out if the code is uh, correct and if there's no vulnerability in that. Yeah, that's right. And we worked with uh, different protocols like Aave, Sushi, Pool Together, Trader Joe. Uh, so we're able to work with a lot of um, EVM compatible projects as well. Okay. So the Ethereum virtual machine, every contract which runs on top of that, you basically have the software to organize an event to, uh, to basically see if the code is correct. That's right. And more importantly, the community that's interested in uh, participating at a competitive yeah. level um, yeah. at these events. Okay. So you basically are the Code Arena, is the, the company who organizes it and you work for yeah. Who's, the, who's the person uh, who the works? Code Arena is, is a DAO and we're trying to become even more decentralized, right? So aside from becoming a, a contributor as an auditor, we're also creating more ways for people that are not auditors to contribute to our DAO. Okay, so you have a whole bunch of people who are good at certain aspects and certain, uh, certain uh, uh, functions of the, of the network. And then, okay, it starts day one. What happens on day one? Uh, day one, we work with the project to scope out the smart contracts and basically um, everything from all the low-level information, right, that they're trying to get audited. Yeah. And then uh, once we do that, we agree on a price pool. And then we also agree on the amount of days that they want the audit to last. Okay. And we promote that uh, to the community. And the community shows interest by RSVPing. And they can choose whichever audit contest they want to participate in. Um, depending on you know things that they're interested in, for example, NFTs, DeFi, uh, bridges, uh, stuff like that, mm -hmm. and then um, yeah, then they participate throughout that that date, and they have to submit the findings throughout that date. And as long as they find um, legitimate findings, there's a guaranteed payout. Uh -huh. And who decides what is legitimate and what is uh, functional, what is a good uh, yeah, so finding? Yeah, we work with, uh, with judges who sometimes come from the community. I mean, in general, they do come from the overall crypto community, of course. So we work with uh, people who are very experienced auditors or people that have um, a lot of experience doing audit contests with Code Arena already. So there's a criteria that they have to meet to become a judge. And then they help uh, kind of like create this quality assurance um, of the audit itself. And then we work with uh, the sponsors of the pool um, to basically patch up all the vulnerabilities that were found. Yeah. You say you're a DAO, what does it mean? Uh, is there no, who takes decision or is everything in a smart contract? Yeah, no, I, I think, uh, you know, we're still trying to decentralize more. Uh, there is, of course, um, a lot of initiative taken by leadership right now, but our aim is to decentralize as much as possible. So we are exploring more ways for more people to contribute who are not auditors, um, which I think is very important to really becoming you know, a full-on DAO. Yeah. And how long do you, um, are you in existence? Uh, for around a year now. Okay. How many events have you organized? Uh, in terms of contests, I can't give you a fixed contest, number. Contest? I mean, uh, is it 50 or 100 or 10? About 100. Yeah, about, about 100. About and 100. we've also found uh, 400 uh, plus high severity vulnerabilities. Uh, and we've uh, given out around $5 million in rewards to wardens. Okay. Uh, one of our top earning wardens is about to cross the $1 million mark. And one person got 20% of the total price money? So far. <laughs> And if you organize an if you organize an event like that, uh, who pays the bill? Uh, the sponsors, uh, basically, we agree on the price pool, and we get a small percentage, but um, the majority of the money goes to the wardens themselves and the judges, of course. Okay. So you did it five million in price money, a hundred, so it's fifty thousand in price money. So for a hundred thousand, you can organize an event like that. 
Yeah, I can't really um, give any details about the exact amounts because it's hey, you're decentralized. You're open and uh, you're open source, but you cannot uh, talk about that. Well, what I mean is like we, it would be better to for whoever's interested to join the community and then let us know what's in scope because it's very variable, right? Like there's projects of different sizes yeah. and also depending on the amount that a project wants to spend, it's also to incentivize the wardens. It's not really uh, depending on us, right? So it's you don't have your own coin. Uh, yeah, we have uh, the Arena token, which is the governance token of Code Arena. Yeah. And one of the initiatives that we're trying to um, kickstart is to allow more people to contribute to the DAO who are not auditors. And one of those initiatives is uh, creating a governance promotion website for the Arena token. So a lot of people who are Web2 developers or marketing people or even business analytics people could be contributing to the DAO. Okay, so some of the prize money is paid out through that token? Um, not at the moment. No, a lot of the prize money is, is done either with stable coins or sometimes with the project's token. Okay, who started this uh, project? Uh, some of the founders are uh, Scott Lewis uh, and Zach Cole. Uh, but and how, how are they known of? Um, what have they done before? Yeah, um, they've worked with, uh, where they've created companies like uh, DeFi Pulse, uh, Slingshot, and uh, other pretty important projects in the space. Okay. Is it busy? I, do you have a lot of interest in uh, organizing events? Uh, yeah, there's definitely a, a lot of interest, word of mouth, and obviously we're here trying to create even more interest because the more contests we have, the better it is for our community as well because they can participate in different kinds of uh, contests. Website name is? Code Arena, except uh, it's a, a four instead of an A. Yeah. Uh, .com. Code for Arena.com. Thank you, Kevin. Anytime.